Okay, so we got part two going here. We got the gearbox. It literally just dropped straight on. Absolutely no fiddling around. Um, if you get everything lined up and everything torqued down, the box literally just drops on like it was like it was made for this engine. The two guys. Um, all right, I didn't put all the bolts in, but there's some bolts in. It's just to hold it there for demonstration purpose. So, all right, so at this point, um, I actually took the transfer case off before the gearbox went on and I also removed the bracket and you should now be able to have a better look at the small grinding job that was done around there. I don't know if they can see properly there. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is this bracket, this bracket here, um, it's time for this bracket to go on. Okay, so you've drilled that out to 14.5 and you've tapped the 16 by 1.5 thread in there. Um, so this one particular bolt is a 12 by 1.75. It's the only bolt out of the whole hardware kit that's got a 1.75 thread. So just be careful not to try and force this into, into the plate or anywhere else. It's only this one bolt that's a 1.75 thread. Okay, so we're gonna get this bolt in there. Um, get this, this bracket up here. Okay, just, just get it in by. Just nip it up slightly. And then the 16 mil bolt and the washer goes in there um, and then we want to then you want to talk this up nicely and obviously talk that one up nicely as well you're probably gonna have to cut the allen key down quite short to get it in there you can't tighten this first. You gotta hand turn it in by hand first, and then turn that one in by hand, and then start talking there and talking here um, at the same time. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna be forcing the bracket in in one direction only. Anyway, so that's the bracket. Um, while we're here, you will notice this little bit of material that needed to be removed here um, behind this ear keep that as minimal as possible we don't want to take strength away from this ear because that's now supporting uh, um, that's a supporting uh, um, uh, um, supporting point so um, as little as possible on this area over here what will help is we look at the transfer case um, on two on two points I removed a little bit of material um, over here I just took, um, there was some casting blobs over here which I just grinded off. It was probably about two, two or three millimeters I removed off there. Um, that also helps you not to take too much off on the block. Um, so yeah, that, that area over there um, which I removed. And then there was another spot. Uh, where was it now? Um, where was the other spot now? Oh, this, um, this little blob over here, uh, also a little casting blob, it actually stands, stands quite high. I removed all that off completely, all the way down to that web over there. Um, that also helps you not to take too much off the block. Um, so that little area there, this little area here, and then I think there was just one small little blob over here as well. And that's, that's all you need to do on the transfer case, and that, that will actually help you to to get this thing in there um, more easily and let you not not take too much off on the block um, so before we got to put the transfer case back just to show you again what it looks like now just remember this I actually went overboard here you don't you don't you're not gonna end up taking off so much um, I didn't have a transfer bracket at the time when I when I did the prep work here um, but you should now easily be able to take off just enough. So, but yeah, the, on the extreme side, that's what it will look like. 
um, absolutely doesn't impact the strength of the block at all because that main web still runs all the way through behind there so there's no um, it doesn't affect the strength of the block at all um, we're reusing this exact same points here we're not grinding on there or anything that little blob that was taken away and then this area that you've removed over here um, you're not going to end up taking off so much as well I, again I didn't have the bracket to, to start off with so I just basically what I did was I followed the curve of, of the main bracket of the main adapter plate but you'll find that especially over here this part over here you don't have to take so much off um, what's important to note is that it's not just a straight cut down you're going to have to chamfer that back edge there you're going to have to chamfer that backwards a little bit as well over there but very important once you got the transit box in make 100% sure you've got an air gap especially around here it tends to get very close to the transfer case just just behind here you wanna I actually took a axle blade and I, and I started to run the axle blade in there and that gave me about one and a half mil gap um, and then once you got that um, uh, sorted out so now it's basically time to to get the transfer case in okay so with a bit of luck um, this will pop in although it doesn't it doesn't always like to pop in immediately uh, let's just see if we're gonna get lucky this time oh we got lucky we got lucky okay Okay, once the transfer case is bolted up, um, once the transfer case is all bolted up, uh, please make sure you use the original VW bolts for that four transfer case bolts. And then we'll basically move on to fitting the bracket. So with the bracket, what you want to do is slip the bracket in underneath and you want to just get get some bolts going there some bolts going in there okay so once you got the four bolts into the transfer case actually don't don't tighten them down because you're gonna have to fiddle around here trying to get the, the tricky ones is the two the two that goes that goes into the block so okay so you want to get the two in the block first um, well try and get those two in for they, they, they you're gonna struggle to get to them so get those two in get the four into the bottom it goes onto the onto the transfer case and then Bob's your uncle there we have it TQ500 4G63 um, let me just um, show you over here so now between the transfer case and the bracket there that's where you want to be able to just slide um, like a one millimeter piece of plastic or a hacksaw blade or something behind it just to make 100% sure that there's nothing touching there and um, 
Same with or any place that come where the transfer case is getting close to the block. Just make sure there's clearance. Take a light, take a axle blade, stick it in there and make sure everything's clear. And then there we go. That's that's the next um, new technology for our, for our old classic Evos. Um, in a couple of weeks time we'll have a um, we'll actually have an Evo 7 that we're actually going to do an installation on, um, hopefully. And then, um, then we'll move on from there. Thanks guys.